Hello, my name is Abigail Salome Inapat, the e-learning administrator based at the Institute of Open Distance and e-learning, College of Education and External Studies. In this presentation, I'll be talking about the Makere University e-learning environment, which is the official learning management system or virtual learning environment uh, for the university. And in this presentation, we'll be looking at uh, how to use the, the Mwele and how to contact the Institute of Open Distance and e-learning or the e-learning desk with regard to matters of uh, e-learning and open and distance learning at the university. Now, technology has increased the options for institutions and teachers to make education and course content accessible anywhere, anytime, to promote student-centered learning, and to develop much more engaging learning materials which can help improve the learning outcomes. I begin with a quote by John Dewey, and he says, if we teach today's students as we taught yesterday's, we rob them of tomorrow. Now, what is Mwele? Mwele in full, as I mentioned earlier, is the Macquarie University e-learning environment. And to access Mwele, you would have to go to this site, https mwele.mac.sc.ug. Now, the learning management system, Mwele, uh, enables a number of things. One, it enables uh, lecturers to create, to manage, and access electronic content and resources. And when the instructors create that content, the students can access those materials anywhere, anytime. And it's both for on-campus students or for students who are on distance programs. Secondly, the learning environment also enables the use of interactive tools for teaching, for formative assessment, as well as for communication, as we shall see in the next slide. Now, as you can see here, uh, Mwele has a number of affordances, just like other learning management systems. Uh, in this column, we look at uh, communication affordances. You have tools that permit both instructors and students you know, to communicate and interact. We have uh, forums, the discussion forums that are available where topics for discussion can be posted and students can engage with each other in those discussion forums on topical issues. Lecturers can give feedback to the students. We have uh, chat rooms. You can create a chat room for you know, synchronous uh, communication activity or interaction between the learners or uh, the learners and the instructors. You can send uh, messages. Mwele can permit sending short messages one-on-one -on -one and one-to-many. We also have the notifications tool in Mwele, which um, allows the students to be notified about any activity happening on the learning management system. If somebody posts in the discussion forum, notifications can be sent, and students or instructors can receive those notifications on the emails or within the learning management system itself. Then we have tools for reflection, like journals. You can let students reflect on their learning using the journal tools that are available. Students can also use the blog tools that are available in the learning management system to be able to blog about their learning, to share their learning experiences. Then we have tools for content delivery and access. We can use lesson tools for developing content in Mwele. We can upload files, PDF files, Word documents. You can upload uh, videos or audio resources for the students. We can also use a tool called Books to develop content in, you know, in chapter form. Then you can create links you know, to various uh, resources for your students. And we also have a mobile app for Mwele that can enable students to use their smartphones to be able to access the content that is available on the learning management system. Then we have tools for collaboration and interaction. 
uh, discussion forums, we have the wikis for collaborative uh, project work, then we still have the chat rooms can permit collaboration and interaction. And then we have tools for assessment, like the quizzes, you can set up uh, practice quizzes, you can set up our summative uh, quizzes for the students on the learning management system. You can uh, put questions in a question bank and then pick them from there when you need them for a quiz. We have the assignment tool that uh, allows the instructor to receive submitted assignments right in the learning management system and you can download them in a batch and uh, look through them and give feedback to the students. Then we still can use our forums as well for assessment. And then we also have surveys that you can use surveys for feedback, to give feedback to students on their progress in their learning. Now, how does Muela work? As I mentioned earlier, both the students and lecturers need to access Muela on this uh, web link, httpsmuela.mac.ac.ug and you create an account and we have a separate video on how you can create an account in Mwele. And then when the instructor has an account in Mwele, send an email to the e-learning administrator on the email addresses that are available in this presentation with the course details. And what does the course detail mean? Course code, course name, the college where you are, the school and the department where that course should be located. And then the e-learning administrator will create a, a shell, a course shell for you and assign the instructor teacher permissions, which should enable the lecturer to populate that course. And when that course shell is available and the lecturer has uh, permissions to add content, they will then go ahead to upload the course materials and related activities to facilitate learning. The lecturer then needs to direct their students to where the materials are placed in Mwele for easy access. And the students themselves need to create um, new Mwele accounts and then make every effort to locate the course and enroll into it. Then the students can use those materials and complete the given activities as guided by their lecturers. And the lecturer should also ensure that they are active online in Mwele to moderate the learning process to prevent. Uh, isolation and to prevent static content in the system. How do you uh, get support for open distance and uh, e-learning services? You will have uh, contact for the director at the Institute of Open Distance and e-learning and also support for Mwele. Now the Institute of Open Distance and E-Learning offers uh, support for development of ODEL materials, also support for training and development of blended and online courses, and support to students and staff who are using the MWELE, the Macau University E-Learning environment. So for ODEL services, please contact the director's office at the Institute of Open Distance and E-Learning, which is located uh, in CCE on the Suguga block. Then for Muele uh, support, uh, contact myself, Abigail, e learning administrator, and uh, I sit in Nyerere room uh, at Suguga block here at CCE, and my email address is right here. Just send me an email with the details of the course that you want to set up, and I should be able to set up and, and give you a response on that so that you can go ahead. With the development of your blended course in Mwele. Even with the, all the advantages uh, to e-learning, both for teachers and for institutions, there are challenges that come with it. And it's important that we talk about uh, these challenges so that we can find measures together to mitigate them. One is the time required to design and develop uh, an e-course with relevant activities. It takes time it takes planning it takes thought it takes the instructor to be supported to design that course so we need to have that in mind you know so that when it's time to develop uh, your e-learning course you know that you need to put in sufficient time to come up with a good product then we have internet uh, downtime sometimes uh, power outages you know affect the running of the service 
then limited student ICT and online learning skills. That means that uh, both the e-learning support desk and the instructors should be available to guide students you know, on uh, how best they can uh, take uh, their online learning. Then we also have poor student and lecturer attitudes to use in ICTs you know, for teaching and learning. A lot of questions usually come up. So it's important that we work on our attitudes uh, towards ICTs in teaching and learning so that we can make the most out of it. Then there is also inadequate skills in online teaching and learning. And uh, there are a number of sessions that we normally have, uh, sensitization meetings, trainings, you know, to support staff to develop basic skills in online teaching and learning. And then the ICT facilities for students sometimes are inadequate. So it's important that we have uh, those facilities in place for the students to make the best of uh, e-learning. Thank you for listening and I hope this presentation has been helpful.